been watching me for a while, you know that I love coffee. I drink a lot of it. So I have always made my coffee really simple. I use this thing called drip coffee, which is just like a regular pot. I put some milk in there, I put some ice. It's a very, very basic coffee routine. Drip coffee is not espresso. Espresso is like a small little shot that is super duper strong. You can pour into milk and it tastes just as powerful as like this much drip coffee because drip coffee is made with water. I found this guy off TikTok who has this extraordinary espresso machine. If I can find his username, I'll put him somewhere on the screen. And I got addicted to his videos. He has literally just like the best coffees ever. And I was like, you know what? I know a lot about coffee and like I have invested a lot in buying browns for my coffee and like this this machine we have breaks a lot so we have to like keep buying the machine and and I was like I feel like I would end up saving more money if I had an espresso machine at home I already have you know oat milk I have caramel I have cinnamon I have like lots of things to decorate the coffees with at my house already I would probably end up not desiring to go out for coffee as much if I had a, an espresso machine so I did a ton of research I found a machine that I'm obsessed with. I got together with my old roommate, Bethany, who's actually like a coffee expert. She's worked at, I think, two coffee jobs. She's read books about it for years. Like she knows everything, way more than me. I only know what I know from her. And she said that this espresso machine I was looking at looked amazing, super high quality. She gave me um, a suggestion to buy shot glasses that sounds wrong. Espresso shot glasses um, for like the right measurements and stuff and then a scale to uh, weigh the beans. So I did all of that and I ordered the machine about two days ago and it's here. It got here last night but I wanted to wait till the perfect time to film this. Quick note, espresso is like the most tedious thing in the world. It has to be so perfect otherwise it'll taste weird. So learning how to make espresso is going to take me a hot minute because even though I might knowledgeably know, oh this is what I'm supposed to do, it's almost like so it's so hard to actually execute properly. So if my first few coffees are gross, don't be surprised. I wanna show y'all what my coffee station looks like right now, cause it is very aesthetic. It just needs some vamping. So this is the kitchen. This is a coffee drawer that I decorated in December, as you can tell by all the green and red. It's kind of a mess. There's coffee grounds, random scissors, stuff like that. So these are Keurig pods. This is what I used to use. It's like the beginner of the beginner. All you do is put this into a machine and click go and it makes coffee. It's kind of gross, <laughs> but Keurig's worked for me for a long time. Then I have these clips that I use when I open a new bag of chips or cereal or something like that. I have my straws that are green and red. Then I have some chocolate. This is a hot cocoa thing and some cinnamon. So all of this, I'm hoping to revamp into like new stuff. So I'll need to keep these because they're practical, but I'll probably have to get new straws because green and red, you know, like Christmas is way, 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 way. I don't know why I haven't changed them yet. I've just um, gotten lazy. <laughs> so then up here, I have this little stand to hold my mugs, a giant empty mason jar, which I have not found a purpose for yet, but I love it. I have this cutting board that my mom made out of like wood she had in her um, wood shop. I have some espresso cups. I could have used these for the espresso shots, but I felt like getting an actual espresso shot glass would be good, like a clear one that doesn't have a little handle. These are just like for fun. I have this little pour, which you can use for anything. I've already used it so many times to make like aesthetic TikToks. A little sign. This machine will be linked below because it's lasted us a long time. I mean, we've had to rebuy them, but like this style of machine has worked. We made coffee this morning, as you can see. To make this coffee, what you do is you fill up a coffee filter with beans and then you fill this backside full of water and you click go and it makes coffee beans into water and that's why there's so much of it. And I have this little thing with just some coffee stuff like coffee filters, stirrers, and then I have my caramel and then here are my coffee beans in this little tin. That's what we're dealing with. I'm hoping to just like revamp this whole thing. So this is the coffee maker box. There it is and then those are the other things that I ordered. Over here I have my milk frother and my popcorn machine and I feel like this would be a solid spot but but also my coffee stuff is all over here. But also, or I don't, let's just open it. So that's, this is what it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. I'm like the worst at opening things. So <laughs> if I open it really unsatisfyingly, don't mind that. Oh my gosh, hello. Ah, directions. I hate directions. I like it when they're espresso directions. It has a cord, so we know it's gonna work. Oh, how do I get this out? I think I may have done it the wrong way because it's like not coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh. My life is about to change. Like, I just know it. Oh, oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. It's smaller than I thought. The pictures made it look a little bit bigger, but I actually don't mind that because that means it'll fit my coffee kitchen area perfect. on some things so I'm looking some stuff up I'm saying what coffee can I use in an espresso because I want to see if I can use the beans that we have at home to try a shot and then I can go to HB and get like the proper stuff because I'm pretty sure there's a difference in like drip coffee grounds and then espresso bean grounds I think <laughs> I'm like questioning all my knowledge right now espresso can be made with any kind of coffee espresso beans and espresso blend just mean the roaster is created specifically with espresso in mind we suggest darker roast okay so I can't I can't I can use my beans if I want Okay, so this thing, this thing is supposed to go up here and that's supposed to turn, but for me, it doesn't, it doesn't turn the whole way. And look, it says unlocked to lock. So it should be able to just, but I'm afraid of doing it too hard. Ah, no, I don't want to break it. What's up on the other stuff? These glasses were the recommended ones for just like general all coffee glasses. And I only got two because yeah. And then I got my scale. This was like literally eight dollars it's just like a basic food scale nothing fancy nothing aesthetic it's just like just works i can't wait for the day where i'm able to just like make an espresso without even thinking about it and it's like so easy for me um but getting there is the hard part and like the patience i i just don't have patience i've never had patience and being a youtuber it's like if you have an idea you can execute it in less than a day and so like having to wait to learn how to do this properly is kind of like hard for me but i know i can do it ah! This is actually kind of cute. What? Wait, do I have my batteries in it? <gasps> what a rip off. I'm gonna have to find like a way to store them, to store the scale. Like it's gonna look really coffee-y, but not, oh no. These aren't shot glasses. What? Oh, these are like latte glasses. Crap. It said they were like shot, maybe it didn't say that. Maybe I made that up. Yay, it works! I'm trying my first coffee. Just go with it. It's not gonna be good, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, I'm using the espresso glasses that we have here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's on. Two. whatever I do I'm breaking the machine I really don't want to break it before I even get to make espresso so I'm gonna have my friend Bethany come over tomorrow and help me with it because I feel like I keep reading the directions and I feel like I did the coffee right um, but for some reason nothing's coming out of it which is not a good sign so I'm just gonna wait for Bethany's direction 
Day one was a success though. It's a cute coffee machine. Um, I'm really excited for it to change my life. <laughs>